Now, I'm no marketing genius, but when you hold a news conference, I usually expect to hear something successful, you know, like selling your stadium name to a corporation or announcing that you're running for office. But the people who want to recall Jared Polis do it a little differently. Here's politics guy Marshall Zellinger. One minute. It's not often you hold a news conference to announce you did not achieve a goal. The required number to force a Polis recall signature uh, election was just over 631,000. We fell short of that. We were never shown the signatures inside these tubs full of petition packets, but Dismiss Polis tells us they got half of what was needed during the 60 days it had to collect signatures to try to force a recall of Democratic Governor Jared Polis. But these petitions won't be turned in. If they are, the voters who they say signed these cannot sign another recall petition against Polis for the next three and a half years of his term. We will not submit these signatures to the Secretary of State so we can protect the rights of any group in the future to mount any recall effort and you never know where, when there might be one. So what will Dismiss Polis do with the names and addresses collected on petitions they won't turn in? If you didn't do this for data mining, will you be shredding all of the documents behind you? Absolutely not. This, this information belongs to Dismiss Polis and Resist Polis PAC. I haven't even seen it. And no, we wouldn't shred it. And no Democrat and no leftist group would do so either. While Dismiss Polis spokeswoman Karen Cataline told me this wasn't about collecting information, she kind of said it was about collecting information. It's valuable to know who those people are. There's nothing illegal, nor should it be. Everything in politics is identifying your voters. That is not why this campaign was done. In response, Governor Jared Polis called that a fuss and a sideshow. There are still active recalls against Democratic Senator Pete Lee from Colorado Springs. Those signatures are due Tuesday. A recall effort against Democratic Senator Brittany Pedersen from Lakewood. Those signatures are due in a week and a half. And a recall effort against Democratic Senate President Leroy Garcia from Pueblo. That still has more than a month of signature collection. I wonder if those are also not successful if we'll have news conferences also. Steve. There will be boxes of paper all over town. Marshall Zollinger, thanks.